Hey, it's Clay and this will be a video chart on Bitcoin. We will take a look at the four hour time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by four hour in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here as they're called representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents four hours. So this here may look like a couple of weeks worth of time. Actually, it's just the past several days broken down into four hour time slices. I like to do this time frame thing. It's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Friendly reminder with Bitcoin, it is open 24 seven. So if you're watching this video 15, 20 hours after I upload it, then yeah, the chart's gonna look different for you. But my goal here from the presentation standpoint is to keep this video relevant for as long as possible. And I'm going to accomplish that by talking about more so general levels and then walking you through some questions and based on how you answer those questions, that'll dictate the current status of the chart. So the big dynamic that's occurred since the last update I did right around 24 hours ago is that the bears have shown up in a big way. And not only did this former breakout fail, it's failed all the way down to basically the bottom portion of the channel, which I've talked about time and time again. So to offer up a bit more perspective over the past several videos, I've talked about, oh yeah, the, the price has been in this range here and that the price was able to get up above that area. But now it's gone all the way back down to the bottom portion of the range. So this is where, again, the chart's gonna be looking different depending on when you're watching this. But let's just say you're watching this video 15 hours after I upload it. The first question you need to ask yourself, I'm gonna adjust this level down here now that we have more data, is where is the price at relative to 92.30, which is the value of that green line? So has this green line continued to hold? Has the price violated down through it? So by asking yourself that question, that's gonna give you a good reference point about the current status of the chart. Again, if you're answering the, the question, well, yeah, Clay, the price is still up above, 92.30. Well, at worst case, that just means the price is continuing to chop around down around here, but at least it's still respecting the low as it's done previously before. Now, a, a bearish sign would be, well, Clay, you, uh, you know, it's 20 hours, it's 15 hours after you uploaded the video, and at this point, the price is down below 92.30. That would imply that not only has this nice little bounce here failed, but it's failed enough to not only come back down there, but then move to the downside, and that would just be yet another sign of bearishness. So in the event, though, you are asking or answering the question that the price is down below 92.30. The next immediate question you would want to ask yourself is, okay, well, whoops, I guess I didn't need that level down here. I forgot that I put this line in here or, uh, previously, so we'll get that level out of there. But the next question would be, okay, well, where's the price at relative to 9,000, which is that green line down there? And if you're somehow answering the question, I'd be shocked if you're answering it this way. But then again, this was a very big move. But if you're answering the question that the price is down below 9,000, well, at that point, that would just be a sign of full-blown bearishness and that, you know, the wheels have fallen off the bus for the bulls. But as of right now, you know, to be fair and give credit or credit to, that area is doing a very good job of holding strong. But like I said, in the event it's below it, that would be the next question you're gonna wanna ask yourself. Now, of course, if you're watching this 15 hours from now and the price is all of a sudden back up at 9,600, that red line up there, well, that would be a sign that, all right, maybe this whole move was just way overdone and, you know, people freaked out too much, but walk yourself through those questions and keep an eye on those levels and that'll keep this video relevant for as long as possible. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.